Here we are, we're walking down the main street of Pisa. We are. Known as the Pizzeria. Yep. Having filled ourselves with cake and pizza. Correct. Day five of our cruise took us to the Italian port of Livorno, the gateway to Tuscany. We had planned to get to the small town of Lucca, but I got the train times wrong. So by the time we had made the 30 minute trek to the Livorno train station, we had to make another plan. Now the easiest destination was Pisa, about half an hour away, and serve regularly from Livorno. We had a coffee at Pisa train station, where I also found that my water bottle was leaking and one of my cameras had got wet. So all in all, not a good start to the day. But when we got to Pisa, the day got back on track. The weather was beautiful, the crowds weren't too thick, and it had been 30 years since my last visit, so it was definitely worth a look. Uh, here we are in lovely Pisa. Pisa? Yeah. On the river. Pisa. We're hunting for the Leaning Tower of Pizza. photos of the Leaning Tower and then hunted down some lunch. Here we are in Pisa, and Stuart is very pleased because he's eating a pizza in a piazza in Pisa. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So we're sharing uh, prosciutto and fungi pizza. Okay, so we now have two, two decaffeinato cappuccino with a baby cannoli. And a, what is that? Have you had your croissant filled, Stuart? Uh, it's custard filled. The custard filled With croissant. dark cherries on the top. Here we are, we're walking down the main street of Pisa. We are. Yep. Having filled ourselves with cake and pizza. Correct. And coffee. And coffee. And uh, quite a lovely day, really. Beautiful day. Yeah. You can easily spend a day in Pisa, and by the time we caught the train home, it wasn't long until dinner, which tonight was at Polo Grill. Where are we tonight, James? Well, tonight we're at the Polo Grill, the lovely Polo Grill on the 14th deck of the Oceania Riviera. So I am going to have the Oysters Rockefeller, uh -huh. then I'm going to have the... Um, what am I going to have next? Um, the lobster bisque. And then I'm going to have a ribeye medium with sautéed onions. Gotcha. I'm going to have the uh, crab cake, which mm -hmm. apparently comes from the Chesapeake Bay. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to have the clam chowder, mm -hmm. which apparently is from New England. Thank you. Um, and then I'll have a ribeye mm -hmm. with a blue cheese topping. Very good. Let's see how that turns out. <laughs> no, sorry, I tried the white. It's a white wine. It's a white wine. Yeah, it's a chardonnay. What's it, what's it called? It's a very again? oaky chardonnay. Very oaky. Northern Californian Chardonnay. Very quick. For me, I was going to discuss the, the bread and butter selection. Uh, what was it about the bread and butter that was still fancy? <laughs> well, I think that'll have to wait till I get my own video show. Oh, all right. <laughs> <Better handling. laughs> 
<laughs> now, James, uh, we're sitting here in Polo. Would you care to uh, comment on the view? Uh, well, we've just sailed away from Livorno after a lovely day in Cuba. What can you tell me about the bread, Stuart? Well, what I'm going to say is that there's bread and then there's bread. Mm -hmm. And in the bread basket, mm -hmm. what I find most appealing is the uh, boiled, almost bagel-like rolls that have a soft, chewy exterior. I find them much more appealing uh, than the sliced baguette. I see. Thank you. But nice, anyway. So here we have Oysters Rockefeller. And you have the, cra the crab cake. I do. This is the crab cake. Want to give it a try? Yeah, I'll give it a Squinchy texture. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, it's nice. All right. I will try a Rockefeller oyster. Give it a little fork and it's all quite hot. It's bubbling with cheese and oil. Hopefully, I won't burn myself. Very elegant. Well, I don't know. But, no, that's very nice. I haven't heard what you brought in before. It's mainly cheese and it's like a sky go. Yeah, it's cheese and garlic and butter. Very nice. And somewhere in there, there's an oyster. Lovely. We've got the clam chowder, right? We do. We have clam chowder. Um, not from the Chesapeake Bay, but um, yeah. Okay, and I have a lobster bisque. Very nice. All right. So now we both have the ribeye. Mine is medium and yours is medium well done. We've got sides of asparagus spears, onion rings, sautéed mushrooms, plus the lobster mac and cheese. And my ribeye has onions on top and Stuart's ribeye has blue cheese on top. And we're accompanying it with uh, a tempranillo for Stuart, Stuart and a Pinot Noir from Moi. How about that? Okay, that's the dessert menu. And we've got this little plate of jellies. In your hop, we've got the apple pie. The Granny Smith apple pie. Oh, did I just open a new bottle? Just open my old bottle. Yeah. And the verdict is? Okay. Why don't you hold that and I shall try. Okay, so I have the key lime pie. Thank you very much. So yes, the key lime pie. Very tangy, very creamy. Very nice actually. Thank you, good night. As you can see, we were amongst the last to leave the Polo Grill that evening. So we finished the day with a walk around the upper decks as the ship steamed down the Italian coast. If you want to keep watching these videos, please like below and hit the subscribe button.